People's Congress in 1959. Numerous craftsmen rushed for the exquisite gifts. Thousands of people went to the Lhasa River bank to see the Dalai Lama off to Beijing. For the first time, the Dalai Lama went on a bus journey on a Tibetan road. And the Pension Lama finally reached Beijing after flying on an airplane and riding a train. They were ceremoniously greeted at the railway station. Hai, the Dalai Lama met Chairman Mao for the first time. He presented Chairman Mao with a hada and an inscribed gold prayer wheel. It says, in 1954, as a representative to the First National People's Congress, in the political and religious traditions of Tibet, I, Dalai Lama, present this gold wheel with honor to the great leader of all ethnic groups in our country, Chairman Mao as my praise and prayer. During this period when he was in Beijing, the Dalai Lama met Chairman Mao on numerous occasions and the two exchanged views. They seemed like close old friends. At the first National People's Congress, the Dalai Lama and the Pension Lama each made speeches. The Dalai Lama talked about work in progress in Tibet. He appeared enthusiastic. The Dalai Lama was elected as the Vice Chief of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress. The Pension Lama was elected as the Vice Chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. These were the highest posts held by local Tibetan authorities in the central government. The Dalai Lama gladly accepted. After this exciting meeting, the Dalai Lama and the Pension Lama spent several months touring and visiting all around the entire country. The inland was indeed richer and more advanced than Tibet. The young Dalai Lama, who was fond of mechanics, repeatedly expressed his intention to mold Tibet into a place as prosperous as the country's inland. After the Dalai Lama returned to Lhasa, he wrote a praise for Chairman Mao. In this eulogy, he likened Chairman Mao Zedong to the sun, to a kind mother who protected the Tibetan people, to a great eagle that defeated the imperialists. 
He praised Chairman Mao for breaking the chains and pointing the road to peace. He wished that the great leader would shine forever like a torch for the world. Dalai in 1956, General Chen Yi arrived in Lhasa, leading a delegation from the central government. 